this is H.G. Bailey. I'm J.B. And welcome back to Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3! Since last time, finished all the level grinding, got up to level 36. And now we can head up here to be blinded by the light for boss time! Okay, first things first, let's get uh, mind up on everyone. And use fire jutsu on him. It's gonna be a little while before we're done buffing and debuffing. I don't think this guy has any physical attacks, so nothing I'm really worried about on that side. So just use Fire Jutsu, Thunder Jutsu. Yeah, get a Thunder Jutsu in there now. If we can ever get a turn. Oh, he uses Magic Barrier. Nuts. Well, we're not going to be using much magic against this guy. So yeah, Thunder, there you go. That should be the last one you need. But yeah, since this guy has magic barrier, I'm not even going to bother with uh, magic attacks. There we go. Yeah, we're going to go pure melee for this one. Uh, he is weak to shade, so I could use... Uh, what is that one? Dark Force or Evil Gate? Yeah, I have Evil Gate, not Dark Force. I've been playing too much Fantasy Star 4. I just killed a boss named Dark Force. Uh, but yeah, so you could use that against this guy, and I, I might every now and then, but... not. Uh, I'm not going to spam it like we've done with the other God Beasts. Uh, that means that I'll take less than 8 minutes. Well, they all take quite a while. Yeah, Magic Shield's kind of an odd debuff, or an odd buff, because unlike any, every, I think pretty much everything else that affects magic defense also affects your magic attack. Oh crap, this is going to hurt. But for him, magic shield doesn't improve his magic attack, so he's still debuffed from fire jutsu. Ow. Yeah, that didn't work out too well. Angela. Well, now we're actually going to get a use for these things. Try to stay above 300 HP. <clears throat> yeah, even Angela, if you've dumped everything into strength, which up to this point I have, then you should be fine. This is probably... This might be the hardest god piece. Or one of the hardest. Gotta, gotta be up there. At least one of the hardest ones with a solo. Or, yeah, that only has like one form. And the fire one did take a while, but there's ways around that. That I didn't use. Much to my brother's chagrin. <laughs> Lavos, is that you? Nah, we're okay. But I do like the the special effect for that. I would try to stick to level one text against this guy. Not so much because you'll deal, uh, or not because of counterattacks, but just because you'll deal more total damage with that. Ow. Pixelated lightning bolts! Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be cheap here. If only there were an item that would actually just cure the Moogle status outright. Well, we might get... Not on this path, but... Well, we might get that item. We might not. But, well, you won't find out about it until the next LP. That's for sure, viewers. <laughs> Fortunately, even though uh, status ailments do not stack, buffs and debuffs do. So, let's see. Ah, nuts. Yeah, whenever you see him charging up a spell, you basically can't access your menus. Just keep on attacking. I'm trying to get into my menu so that way I can use Evil Gate on him. Wow, we're just wailing on him now. But yeah, sometimes if you rush him like that, he'll use a heal light. So. Yeah, we're not doing too bad, considering we're a magic party and not a melee party. Any party can do it. If you made Angela into a, uh... I forget what her dark class is called. But if you make, chose the other job class that I did not, she could use Dark Force on him. Hey, hey, alright, that only took us five minutes. Yeah. We didn't spam spells all the time. Yeah, I was going to try and use Evil Gate a little bit every now and then, but uh, 
I guess we don't need to. So yeah, even with a magic party, it's faster to go with melee. That is sad. <laughs> wow. I wonder how we're doing on items. Well, I'm sure we got plenty. The next one we're going to go to is not that hard. Okay, let's see. Which one did I say I was going to go to next? I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think I was going to go to the forest one. Let's see. There's right there. Oh, no, no, no. I was going to go to the moon one next. That's right. In fact, there's a very specific reason why I said that. Let's see. Not there. Ah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go to the moon tower there, but, well, you can't land right next to it, so we're gonna have to go pretty much all the way through the moonlight forest. So. But the enemies are pretty easy, and we're just gonna run right through it. Yeah, I know, you're disappointed. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so, yeah, we'll just meet you over there. Basically, just take every left at a fork that you run into, and then... Finally, when you can't, go up north, and we'll meet you over there. Okay, we made it. Uh, there was... Oh, by the way, after defeating the fourth god beast, uh, these two guys show up at almost any god beast dungeon, except the last one for some reason. But they'll show up, and they'll have even new equipment. So it's after the first god beast, and after the fourth god beast. Oh, and they also tell you something. Might as well show you viewers. By the way, the directions I gave... Oh, they don't say it anymore. Nuts. Well, I bought all the equipment off-screen. Uh, there's new weapons, new armor. I, I wouldn't buy the helmets. But, uh... Oh, sorry, I did it off-screen. But they say something about a village called Padan to the west of the Volcano Island Buka. So... Well, let's check out what's going on around here. I'm gonna fight some of the enemies in the dead ends, because... If you don't, you'll pretty much fight almost no one around here. So I do want to get some experience. But I'm not going to go for every single little nitpicky dead end. Like we did the first time. I know, you're disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> one thing that's kind of interesting is those Beastmasters, if you can avoid killing them. Okay, I guess we can't. But they can summon... A uh, random enemy called, uh, they spell it Kerberos, but, uh, well, it's obviously Cerberus. And they, and the Cerberus have a random chance of dropping a weapon armor seed, which is basically like the ultimate equipment in the game. I mean, you can plant them to get the ultimate equipment in the game. Eventually, I will want to do that, but not right now. Okay, now for this one. Let's see, those bloody wolves can use a full screen tech. Use water jutsu on them. Yeah, there you go. You have to do it one at a time, but just the bloody wolves. So, at least if they do use their full screen tech, we'll have a way of dealing with it. Alrighty. It'll reduce the damage that we would take. Although it is possible to trigger the full screen tech just by using that on them. So they might counter the magic spell with it, but I'd re I'll take my chances. Yeah, you see? But, this won't hurt that much. There, you see? And watch this guy do that again. Well, they don't always counterattack. Of course, if you kill them quickly enough, that works too. That's... Come on. Come on, then. There we go. Yeah, bring plenty of candies, or, uh, round drops, not candies. Thinking of the last game. Bring plenty of those with you. And, uh, chocolates, obviously. I think this guy is weak to gin, if I recall correctly. What does that do? I forget. Oh, that reduces our physical defense. Kill this guy, and then we'll back out to debuff it. Okay. Let's back out. Yeah, it's a cheap trick, but oh well. 
What was I gonna? Oh yeah, those uh, Beastmasters. I think they're weak to Jin, if I recall correctly. Uh, obviously, uh, the vampires are weak to Wisp. Okay, that's two down. I think there's one more. There we go. Not even gonna bother using Sync Beam on her. This is like the only area where Sync Beam is useful in the mid game. It is so sad. That's why I don't bother dumping anything into Spirit for Angela there. It's just not worth it. Now well, we're doing okay on HP so far. Where do we end up now? Ah, here we go. Uh-oh, more of these guys. There we go. Hit them with your balls, Angela. Your holy balls. Oh, that didn't seem to do too well against them. Huh. Now, the spells that that guy's using is based on one of Lisa's dark job classes. I did a little bit of testing with it, but not too much. So I, I don't really know it too well. Lisa's is pretty much always, almost universally better going off as... Uh, going, going into her light job classes. So let's see, I think this one, if my map is correct, this is the dead end. Yes. Okay, uh, it's water jutsu time. Not every dead end, huh? Well, I'm gonna go for, if it's just one room, I'll go for it. That's pretty much every room in the tower. No, there's some instances where there's, like, a really long branching path that just leads to a dead end. And it's like, now. No, no, I'm not, I'm not going to deal with that. Yeah, get the other one, and then we should be sick. If I can ever attack, that is. I at least like to get to a healing point. Come on. I'm like frozen here. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, sometimes the game messes up like that. Nuts. This could hurt. Ow. Well, let's kill him at least. Okay, there we go. Then eh, grab that, might as well. Can we make it to the Golden Goddess statue? I'm pretty sure we can. Alright. In fact, I'm certain we can. So, yeah, I don't think there's any enemies around here. And we can run, so that means I'm correct. Alright, whew, made it. We're at the halfway point to the top of the tower. Can we defeat the Moon God Beast? Find out next time on Let's Play Sikkim Densetsu 3! I'm H.C. Bailey. I'm J.B. Signing off. Have a good day!